Today at Giallo Zafferano, we are going to prepare naturally leavened panettone. Let's start. Let's start with the first mix of panettone. Using the following ingredients. Manitoba flour, water, butter, egg yolk, sugar, sourdough, malt. Let's start preparing the syrup with water, sugar and malt. Let's put the sugar in the bowl, the malt, and water. Let them dissolve. Once they are mixed, let's open our machine, put the syrup in the machine, flour, and let's start mixing. In about 5 minutes, as soon as the dough starts compacting, let's add sourdough that has been freshened 3 times during the day. And let's start the machine again. In the meanwhile, while the mixer is operating, we're going to prepare an emulsion of butter and egg yolk. Let's put the butter already softened in a slightly bigger bowl. And let's whisk it with a little whip. Then we add the yolks in two moments. And now the emulsion is ready and we add it to the dough in two moments. In order to facilitate the absorption, I'll remove it from the leaf. Once the dough is nicely dry, we add to the second part of the butter. As you can see, the dough is smooth and dry, it's not sticky. We remove it from the machine. The dough, as you can see, is nice and smooth. We will, as they say, do some dough rounding. And then we'll leave it to rise in a glass bowl at 27-28 degrees for about 12 hours until it has three times its size. I'll cover it with a cling film. In our panettone, I'll use a citrus fruit paste. I'm going to show you how to make tangerine paste, which is made with the tangerines and sugar. Let's take our tangerines, which have already been washed. Let's cut them. Now we add sugar. Let's stir it. We'll leave it to mature for about 15-20 minutes until the sugar melts. After the given time some juice forms, let's cook out tangerines for 35-40 minutes at very low heat. Once they are cooked, 
I'm going to blend them into a paste. This is how you can make also orange and lemon paste. The first rising is done. For my second mix I need the following ingredients. Raisins, flour, candied orange, orange paste, lemon paste, cider, egg yolk, sugar, butter, vanilla port, honey, salt and tangerine paste. Let's start our second dough. Put in the first leavened dough and the flour. Look now how it collapses. Let's add the flour. Let it absorb the flour. Once the flour has been absorbed, we can add the aromatic compound, the orange paste, the lemon paste, the tangerine paste, the honey and the vanilla port. We open the vanilla port, cut in it, and then open in it with the tip of your knife to scrape the beans. Now the dough is ready for us to add to the aromatic compound. and the vanilla beans. Let's turn the machine on to let the aromatic compound be absorbed by the dough. Whilst the mixer is operating, we'll prepare another emulsion using, again, softened butter. Like we did before, we're going to whisk it a bit. Add the yolk into separate moments. Let's put the second part of the yolk. Okay, we have prepared our second emulsion. The dough is ready for us to add the sugar. Let's stop the machine. Notice how the dough is nice and elastic. Let's pour the sugar and start the machine again. Now we add salt. See that the dough is glossy and elastic. Only just one minute to let it be absorbed. And we start the butter emulsion. Let's stop the machine. I'll add to the second part of the emulsion. Let's uh, let the dough be done. In the meanwhile, I will mix the fruit, that is raisins, orange and cider. I'll take another glass bowl. The raisins have already been soaked before. The diced orange and the cider. Let's mix it. Let's uh, check if the dough is ready. Notice that it is nicely transparent in the elastic. When the dough has reached to this elasticity, we can add the fruit. The dough is ready. 
Let's start with plant tree. Let's uh, detach the leaf. And let the dough rest for 20 minutes in the bowl. The dough has uh, rested. We take it from the bowl. Put it on the table. We round it and let it rest again. Another 30 minutes of room temperature. After 30 minutes, we are ready to put our panettone in the paper mold. In the meanwhile, we have weighed it. Our panettone weighs 1.5 kilograms. With the extra dough, we made two panettone muffins. For dough rising, follow these instructions. Turn the oven to 35 degrees, turn it off. Cover the panettone with a glass bell. Cover and let it rise for 6 to 8 hours. Once risen, I have uncovered the panettone and left it open for 30 minutes so that it would develop a little crust. I am going to cut across with a little blade. I'll put a walnut sized piece of butter in the middle of the cross. And now we're ready to put it in the oven. 175 degrees. Static mode for 50 minutes. Our panettone is cooked. We pierce it with two skewers. We turn it upside down and let it cool down all night. Here is our panettone. I suggest you to close it in a food bag for two days to let it express all its perfume. The perfect cake for Christmas holidays and more. Try it out, I'm sure you'll manage.